My name is Jake Holland and welcome back to another top tip series from Palm Equipment. In this series we're going to be looking at things that you can do inside without having to get in your kayak, which is perfect right now for the corona period. And there's a lot that we can actually do here and work through. For this you're going to need something to sit on, so ideally a bench with a nice flat hard surface. If you don't have that available, then two chairs facing each other with your bum on one and your feet on the other. Do try to make sure though that the chair is flat with a, a fairly slippy surface, that's the ideal. Um, so in this first episode we're going to be talking about posture. Posture is really really important, it's the key building block to kayaking. Without it everything just becomes exponentially harder. So it's, it's a great place to start for episode one. Bad posture, I think everyone's probably heard the phrase bad posture, but what is it? Well, in general, people tend to end up slouching in bad posture. So what happens is the pelvis starts to rotate underneath ourselves. So it rotates backwards like this, and it encourages this position where there's very little connectivity from your, from your stomach muscles. So they switch off, they're no longer working, and you can't hold those core muscles. And we also end up with this kind of sloping upper back, like a bit of a curve to it. So this is bad posture. Um, and it's just a very ineffective position. Good posture is, it's, it's not quite the reverse of this, whether we're all the way forwards, it's, it's more of an upright position. So to find good posture, what I normally say to my students is take your hands, put them on the side of your kayak, in this case, on our bench, lift yourself up and allow your pelvis to rotate forwards underneath you. Okay, and you can kind of do that a little bit from this position without your hands. Allow the pelvis to just rotate forwards into an upright, if not slightly forward position. You don't want to go too far because you start to encourage a hollow in the lower back um, and that's not great either, okay? Um, that can cause weakness and, and the vertebrae to be bending the wrong way. So you want the lower back to be nice and vertical. Once you've got that, let's think about the feet. So in this case, in our white water kayaks, our knees tend to be slightly splayed. Our feet are probably at a sort of like slightly outward position with a, a bit of a, a forward bend to them. They're not normally totally upright. So find that nice neutral position and make sure that your heels feel firmly mounted there. Okay, good. This is what I'd consider to be a good posture for our kayaker. This is a good position because we can start to tense our core muscles and hold ourselves, and protect our lower back. And then we can also start to engage um, our upper body with our lower body. What I want you to try experimenting with is imagine that you're on a swivel board and that you can move your sit bones, so they're the hard bones, backwards and forwards. So one side comes further forwards than the other and then you reverse that and the other side goes. And our sit bones, our pelvis, it's, it's the central bit which I believe really connects the lower body to the upper body. And that's really important in kayaking because we want to get that power transfer from the paddle all the way through our body and into the boat through our feet. And you can't do that if you're in a slouching position. So in this good positive upright position with our uh, pelvis slightly rotated forwards, sat on our sit bones, we've got the swiveling. Now what I want you to try and do is put your arms out in front of you, at roughly about shoulder level, okay? And as you do that swivel, I want you to watch what happens with the arms. Hopefully you'll find naturally that the arms, when you swivel forwards on one side, also go forwards, okay? So you can see that. And you can also see that there's motion in my feet, they're sort of pedaling. So from this pelvis position, it's allowing connectivity from the upper body all the way through to the lower body. If you feel yourself as you're doing this, slouching back into this position, you're gonna notice that suddenly your pelvis can no longer twist as it could before. Actually give that a go go into that slouch position, you're going to see that it becomes very ineffective, okay? So throughout your day of kayaking, one thing that I want you to take away is like, am I sat correctly? And just remind yourself at times, you know, like you don't want the back band holding you in this position. You want to be able to hold yourself there. So this is a great time in quarantine period to, to get used to this position and just practice it. 
holding yourself upright, arms out, tensing the core. So, that's lesson one, posture.